Only a couple of months ago, it seemed like a genuine possibility that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer could get sacked as Manchester United manager. But now, since the beginning of January, only Liverpool have picked up more points than Man United in the Premier League. And I think it's about time that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and the players deserve some praise for this fantastic run of form. United look transformed. And it's not just about individual wins and performances. It's big patterns that have emerged that I want to point out in this video, and it's exactly what I'm going to do. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to United People's TV. But let's talk about how United look transformed at the moment. And for me, there really is only one place you can start, and that's by looking at Man United's defence. Because defensively, under Mourinho, if we were good defensively, we were weak going forward because we were sat so deep. But defensively now, we look like an absolute unit. And the stats do not lie. Look at United's last 10 games. Eight clean sheets, only two goals conceded, two wins versus City, and a win away at Chelsea included in those. This isn't just a one-off. United are doing it game after game. And look at the individual improvements. Harry Maguire looking far more like the Leicester Harry Maguire that I thought we were going to sign. He looks fantastic in recent games. Aaron Wan-Bissaka, he keeps improving as the season goes on. Eric Baez only just come back from injury, but he's settled in brilliantly. Luke Shaw, mainly as a left centre-back in a back three, he looks transformed as well. Williams has been continuing his excellent form throughout the season, but across the whole defensive unit, Manchester United look like a team that's transformed. I'm going to keep saying that word because it's the patterns that you're seeing. Two goals conceded in the last 10 games is outstanding. And as well as the defence deserving praise, I think the Manian Matic deserves a lot of individual praise. I've slated him, you know that. I always thought that he was going to leave this summer. But his form in the last 10 games has coincided with this excellent run of defensive form. And that's because he's operating as a pure defensive midfielder and doing it very well. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has confirmed that Matic is actually going to stay next year. And maybe his experience is more valuable than I gave it credit for. But Matic has been a big reason for this improvement. But, you know, everybody says that scoring goals is the hardest thing in football. But I think defensively, doing this for 10 games is incredibly difficult. And that's down to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and his coaching staff. Because a defensive unit starts on the training ground. Everybody knows what they're doing. Everybody's got their role and they're doing it properly. And it's not just De Gea saving United. It's United's defence doing their job properly because De Gea's pretty much bang out of form. And that's been a huge shift from the, from the time sorry, where we're relying on David De Gea to the times now where we're relying on our whole defensive unit. That's a massive shift. And all credit to Solskjaer and the players for that. And with these wins and with these performances there's another key improvement, and that's tactically. Look at United. Against City in the last four games, we've beaten them three times. Frank Lampard wakes up in cold sweats thinking about Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and playing United with him in charge. Solskjaer's beaten Pochettino. Solskjaer's beaten Mourinho. He really has done it in these big games. And if you're looking at the big games recently, I think there's been a bit of a shift in the tactics. Take the 2-0 against City, for example. We knew how to set up. We set up properly, we set up with a deeper formation, which we know we've done previously, but it wasn't just sitting back and waiting for an individual moment of magic, although that did come through Bruno Fernandes. 25 minutes in, we got possession. We started playing out from the back. We didn't press too hard. We played with the split strikers, Dan James going down the left, causing Otamendi all sorts of problems. It's like we said, then Gary Neville, I think, said it in the game as well. It's like United was sitting back and waiting to expose the weaknesses that we knew were there. And that's down to the tactical quality that United had going into that game. We executed the plan perfectly. Defensive substitutions after 77 minutes could have been a massive risk, had it backfired, but it didn't. United were brilliant. Look at the 2-0 away against Chelsea early this season as well. Split strikers, but we went with more pressure there. Chelsea didn't have any time on the ball. We played through the middle. Fred and Matic were brilliant. Bruno Fernandes made the difference. But tactically, another perfect setup. Chelsea had no response. City had no response. But it's not just these big games, is it? We've beaten Watford 3-0. Controlled, dominant performance at home that you would expect from United, but we've rarely seen in these sorts of games. 5-0 against Bruges when we struggled away. Brilliant performance. But again, we've struggled in these games. Previously, 3-0 against Derby. Another example of that, there's tactical improvements across the team 
and an overall confidence, which I'll speak about later on. And that comes from Solskjaer. Yes, he's learning on the job, but he's learning and he's improving. And United tactics are getting better. It's not just about hitting on the counter attack. It seems like we've got versatility now and the players are disciplined enough to do it properly. So that comes down to the coaching and the training groundwork that United are putting in. And again, credit to Solskjaer for that. But of course, there is one major reason why United are in such brilliant form since January. And that's Bruno Fernandes. I really am falling in love with him so quickly because he's the sort of quality player with the sort of quality ability that we've basically been starved of. And look at his influence in the team. It truly is staggering. Since Bruno joined United, he's had more passes into the box than any other Premier League midfielder. More shots, more shots on target, more goal involvements, most assists, and he was named PFA Player of the Month in February. And since he joined, only Liverpool have picked up more points than United. Bruno and his influence has been absolutely sensational. And sometimes you overhype a player, but he's overhyping himself. The hype is coming from Bruno's performances. Six starts, seven goal involvements. And it's not just Bruno himself. Look at Anthony Martial, a player transformed since his arrival. Fred is only getting better in midfield. Matic, now that he can operate as a pure DM because he doesn't need to do anything going forward, is getting better too. The roles in the team seem far more identified now that Bruno has come in. Everybody knows their place. It was a little bit confused before he arrived, but he's the sprinkling of magic that this team needed. He's the man that's linking that defence to attack seamlessly. And he's a major, major reason why United have been so, so good in the last 10 games. And that's all credit to him and his ability. And I love Bruno Fernandes. You will do as well. But what a signing he has been. Only makes me wish that we did sign him in the summer. But let's ignore the negativity and just focus on the fact that Fernandes has been sensational. And every other Premier League team would love him in their team. But we signed him. And I don't really think Solskjaer has actually made a bad signing since he became United manager. But Bruno Fernandes, I think we can all agree, has been the best. And it's brought something back to United that I don't think we've had for a long time. Probably since PSG, the best feeling, the feeling of confidence that we have going into games. Going into this game against City, I said before on Twitter that I was confident that United could not only get a result from this game, but actually play ball against City. I wasn't just going into that hoping for a, you know one moment of magic to settle the game. United had the tactics, United had the form, and United delivered in every way, shape and form. We only had like less than 30% possession, but we had more shots than City, more shots on target than City, and we did it properly. And it was nervous for that second half, yes, but there was just an overall confidence in this defence, which has kept eight clean sheets in the last 10 games, and an overall confidence. And just look at, look at the celebrations for McTominay's goal. They were absolutely superb. And look at Odin Igalo. I think he sums up this positive feeling around United. Yes, he's living out his dream, but it's not just the fact that Igalo really is living his best life right now as a United player, but he's delivering with his performances. He wants to play for United. He's got three goals, his hold-up play. We've been craving for a striker like that. And Igalo's positivity and Bruno's attitude, it's infectious. It's going through the club and it's starting to reflect onto the fans as well. McTominay's goal took the roof off Old Trafford. And United, at the moment, we're just a team transformed. And yes, we play Spurs at the weekend. Yes, we may not win there. Hell, we may even lose against Mourinho. Probably not, hope not. But it's not just about individual games now. It's an overall sense of confidence, an overall sense that this United team, they're starting to really come together under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Does that mean that he's going to be United's manager next season? I think he needs top four and or to win the Europa League, for have, to have any chance of that happening. I stand by what I said earlier this season about Pochettino and United moving forward further down the line. But a big thing about Solskjaer here is that even though our form has been fantastic, he's still looking forward. He's saying after the City game that we need one, two, three experienced signings to be considered anything close towards title contenders. Solskjaer has got that vision in his head and he's not losing it despite United's excellent form at the moment. 
And I just think Solskjaer deserves some real credit for that. Tactically, he's improving as a manager. Each game that goes by, we're now winning games against lesser opposition that have previously we've become unstuck on. Bruno Fernandes is a major part of that. And it goes to show that the right recruitment makes all the difference. And I think United's recruitment has been right since Solskjaer came in. But United at the moment, as I said, transformed. Last 10 games, eight clean sheets, seven wins, three draws, no defeats, two wins over City, a win over Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. Credit where it's due, people. Solskjaer and his coaching staff are clearly doing things right on the training ground. Bruno Fernandes has made a major difference. The whole defensive unit, the whole midfield, McTominay, he's back in good form. Matic, Fred, bang in form. The whole defence, Maguire, Wan-Bissaka, Williams, Shaw, Bay, Lindelof at points. They're all great in great form, looking towards the attack. Anthony Martial in the form of his, the, certainly the best form he's had since that first year under Van Gaal. And James, he is causing problems. He's Decision-making certainly needs to improve, but just as a whole unit, it's not just one player who's in form and is carrying us. United look united. Solskjaer deserves credit for that. Every single player deserves credit for that. And it gives us a great platform for the last few months of this season. Can we get top four and win the Europa League? Hell yeah, we can. And if we do that, it's got to be considered a successful season. And with Bruno in the squad, with Bruno in that starting eleven. Who knows what United can do this season, but it's a positive feeling around the club at the moment. And I want to point that out. You know me, I'm a bit of, I like my positivity. But Solskjaer deserves a lot of credit for what's going on. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But United right now, bang in form. Bring on Spurs, bring on the rest of the season, bring on the Europa League. Let's see what United can do between now and the end of the season.